Yeah. And the, the two leads bring this story to life brilliantly. I know you spent five or six months auditioning hundreds of different actors. You found Taylor, you found Nicholas. Why were they the right guys to play these roles? It's funny. After having made the film with them, it almost becomes really difficult to explain why they're the most, the perfect guys in the roles, because they are just simply now the roles. Uh, you forget what the casting process was like. And I've had to really go back and, and actually watch some of their auditions recently. And I remember watching Nick audition and working with Nick. He really convinced me that what Henry needed was a caretaker and what Nick was able to do as the actor playing the role was less inhabit him than care for him. He really, really protected Henry. He really felt very protective of Henry. He, I think as an actor saw his job as being someone who had to just sort of create a, a wall around Henry and, and keep, keep bad things from happening to him. And there was such a, an enormous well of compassion for, for Henry. And I knew that with Nick, I was leaving this character in very good hands and I could, I could, I didn't need to worry about Henry and I could work, I could focus on other things. And with Taylor, Taylor has this ability to transform himself, both his, his body and his energy into something else. He's a real chameleon. And and he's a shapeshifter. And when I started reading him for this role, I could see Alex just sort of springing into life. And, and so there's, it's funny, there's this very complimentary energy that they have as actors, at least on this film, that Nick was very sort of internal and Taylor was very external. There was some sort of inward energy coming toward Nick and there was some outward energy coming from Taylor. And so that independently of each other, they were already without having met, were creating these very complimentary performances, just even in the auditions. And then I put them in a on a Zoom together to do a chemistry read. And just sort of like praying and hoping that, oh my God, you know, please, 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 just if if it's not true, give me enough that I can fake it. <laughs> right. and, you know, and and they didn't need, I didn't need to fake anything and neither did they. It was just there from the beginning. It was, it was, I mean, it, it, it's going to sound stupid to say, but it just sounded like fate. It just was so perfect. It, it, they were the characters. They became the characters more and more throughout the audition process. And then when we got into this chemistry read, they just clicked instantly. So on the one hand, it was incredibly thorough, this process, both on my part and theirs, I would say. And then it just clicked and became incredibly easy and simple and straightforward. And what I love about you is I could feel it through the screen. You have so much pride in the work that they did. You're, you're beaming when you talk about it, which I think... I feel like a proud parent. I really do. Because, I mean, the thing is, is that this movie is only as good... This movie would only ever been as good as my ability to get natural, easy performances out of them. The And one of the things that I'm really, really proud of in this film across the board is how relaxed everybody is mm. and and it starts with taylor and nick there is such an ease about them that really just permeates every scene of the film and and yeah i'm 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 incredibly proud i think you know one of the one of the great pleasures and challenges of this process was was editing the film because it was a wealth of options, you know, and um, and there's a whole other version of this movie which I could uh, uh, assemble out of alternate takes, and and it would be it would be a different movie, you know. Um, absolutely, very proud of those two. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to see those deleted scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the non-deleted scenes out into the world first, and then we'll see yeah. what happens. Fair enough. Fair enough.